Hello guys, what up? This is Dato Olive Alex, and today I'll be giving away a uh, new transitions called the Time Wrap Transitions. It's pretty much uh, the same thing as Hyperzoom, but it's got that kind of handy, seamless vibe on it. It's pretty cool and it's pretty easy on how you can make it on your Vegas because I made it as a preset. So before you can proceed to this uh, video, you want to make sure that you have Safari plugins. I received tons of questions that they, when they import, I mean, uh, when they download the preset and place it in their video, th there will be a pop out, uh, like an error message showing out like the uh, preset is not working for some reason. That's because you don't have plugins. And yeah, make sure you have Sapphires as well as my presets. So download link will be in the description. So let's proceed to the tutorial. So if you ever watch my other video, video uh, one which is on your left side and video two on your right side. So um, on the video number one, you want to select the presets A. So let's click event effects and the presets that you download and place in your Vegas will be uh, shown up in the filter package. So here's the transition called time wrap. So uh, basically it's contain zoom in and zoom out transition so let's choose zoom in so time zoom a for video one click add hit ok and you don't need to adjust the keyframe whatsoever because for some reasons the video here fit nicely with this uh, keyframing uh, on this effect here so uh, another common uh, question that I receive a problem that you guys uh, encounter is that the keyframing is not showing up on the timeline section on this editing uh, event effects here that's basically because your video is short so you want to stretch out your video to see the keyframing readjust it and cut your video to its original length so let's proceed to the second video I want to choose the time zoom B click add hit ok uh, for video number two you don't need to adjust anything because it started on the on the very first of the video so once you add both of them in this each video here you want to basically overlap it uh, around two frames and then you want to start build dynamic RAM preview and show you what's it look like there you go and it's pretty nice uh, it's look different unique kind of transition and yeah if you want more transitions for Sony Vegas you can subscribe to my channel and stay tuned on my new video because I'll be making more transitions and leave some thumbs up on this video and if you have any problem just leave it down in the comment section I will try to help you guys out and yeah see you guys on my next video